On average, 900 people are murdered in Planned Parenthood centers every day in America. That's about 37 per hour. Last Friday, three additional people were killed above the usual 900 at a Planned Parenthood center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. 57-year-old Robert Louis Deere, a man registered to vote as an unaffiliated female, entered with a gun, then sometime later shot at police officers responding to the scene. An eyewitness described his experience during the ordeal. For like five seconds we stared at each other and those bullet holes were, went, came right through my windshield. And then I just started getting away and I heard him shooting some more at me. Unfortunately for this victim and other citizens in Colorado, there is restrictive gun control in that state. Some of that blood is on the hands of Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper. Among other laws, he signed into place laws regarding ownership and time of possession, expanded background checks, and a ban on high-capacity magazines. Obviously nothing that would stop a person with criminal intent, but restrictive on law-abiding citizens wishing to defend themselves and their families. These same background checks and magazine capacity bans that don't work in Colorado or anywhere else they've been tried are being pushed for on a national level. President Obama also predictably called for more useless restrictive gun legislation in the wake of this shooting. It's noteworthy that Obama does not call for more gun control legislation when Islamic attacks occur in America or overseas. The shooting also comes at a time of heightened awareness of the criminal activity going on at Planned Parenthood thanks to the investigative videos released by the Center for Medical Progress. The director of the Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood facility said the shooter is against murder in the womb. The pro-life group Colorado Springs Respect Life assembles twice weekly at the clinic for prayer meetings, but the leader, Joseph Martone, says Deer is not a member and has no affiliation with the group. Richard Lewis Deer surrendered and is being held without bail in the Colorado Springs jail. His murder weapon was recovered by law enforcement officials. I should mention that the murder weapons for the other 900 or so murders committed at Planned Parenthood clinics nationwide that day are not being sought by police. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.